Hey, Friday, January 12th. Uh, be sure you turn in all your HBS lessons one through six now that we've finished going over all of them. Um, I'm also going to hand back strips with missing work assignments on them. If you get one, a uh, reminder that you should complete those as the semester comes up closer to an end. Our unit outcomes are still the same, diet and nutrition. Uh, we're going to look at uh, surface area, how to calculate surface area, how folding affects surface area, and you're going to be calculating the surface area uh, in class. So uh, HBS Lesson 7 is around the small intestine. We're going to take a little different version than once in the book, and we're going to work at calculating the surface area of the model that we had and compare it to the actual surface area of your small intestine. Uh, and we'll talk more about that in a second. And then make sure that you're aware of any missing or fixable work. So in order to do this, uh, we need to make sure you understand what is surface area, uh, what is the shape of the intestine, and then how do you calculate the inner surface area of a shape like that. So once we've got the math down, uh, then you can move on to uh, your actual task, and that is to develop two different ways to calculate the area of the small intestine. And be sure to compare your two results. Uh, it'll give you a better idea of how uh, realistic uh, or consistent your math is. And then discuss a method with your group that would at least double the area of the small intestine. In other words, how do you, how do you get the inside of the small intestine bigger without making the outside bigger, without growing more small intestine? Uh, and then you're going to take those insights and explain them in a Seesaw video, and the link there is on Classroom. Uh, only one person in your group needs to submit the video, and the rest of you can mark it as done. And then uh, at the end of the period on Tuesday, we'll kind of share out what we've got.